welcome to Education in Smart Biomedical Engineering. In this video, we will be discussing basic anatomy and physiology terminology. Today's outline of the video, definition of anatomy, definition of gross anatomy, definition of microscopic anatomy, definition of physiology, explanation of level of organization of human body types of tissues, types of muscle tissue, anatomy, terminology, anatomy planes. First, let's define what anatomy is. Anatomy is the study of the structure and organization of living organisms. There are two types of anatomy, gross anatomy and microscopic anatomy. Gross anatomy is the study of structures that can be seen with the naked eye, such as the heart and lungs. Microscopic anatomy is the study of structures that can only be seen under a microscope, such as cells and tissues. Physiology is the study of how the human body works. It describes the chemistry and physics behind basic body functions, from how molecules behave in cells to how systems of organs work together. The major levels of organization in the body, from the simplest to the most complex are, atoms, molecules, organelles, cells, tissues, organs, organ systems, and the human organism. The human body is made up of four types of tissues, connective tissue, epithelial tissue, nervous tissue, and muscle tissue. Connective tissue provides support and protection for the body. Epithelial tissue lines the surfaces of organs and body cavities. Nervous tissue transmits signals throughout the body. Muscle tissue allows for movement. There are three types of muscle tissue, skeletal muscle, smooth muscle, and cardiac muscle. Skeletal muscle is attached to bones and is responsible for movement of the body. Smooth muscle is found in the walls of internal organs and helps control the movement of substances through these organs. Cardiac muscle is found in the heart and helps pump blood throughout the body. Now, let's talk about some common anatomy terminology. Please refer the diagram on right anterior refers to the front of the body, while posterior refers to the back. Dorsal refers to the back or upper surface of an organism, while ventral refers to the belly or front. Caudal refers to the tail end, prone refers to lying face down, supine refers to lying face up. Medial refers to the middle, while Lateral refers to the side. Proximal refers to the point closest to the center of the body, while Distal refers to the point furthest from the center. Superficial refers to the surface, while Deep refers to the interior. Superior refers to the higher or upper part, while Inferior refers to the lower part. Central refers to the middle or center, while Peripheral refers to the outer parts. Finally, let's talk about anatomy planes. The sagittal plane, also called the lateral plane, runs vertically and divides the body into left and right sections. The coronal plane, also called the frontal plane, runs horizontally and divides the body into front and back sections. The transverse plane, also called the axial plane, runs horizontally and divides the body into top and bottom sections. Thank you for watching and we hope you found this video informative and easy to understand.